Welcome to the podcast for the sisters and bros. It will make you laugh from your head to your toes. Talking about their lives, from the highs to the lows. And the name of the title goes... The Sloppy Joes. Welcome everyone to the Sloppy Joes podcast. How are we today? Oh, so many things running through my mind right now. Uh, we are so l- many things I want to point out and pick on. All right, okay, right. So we're a little bit delayed. It is a Wednesday. Thank you very much for being patient with yeah. us. Patrons, though, got to come down and be special. Da, da, that da, has gone down like da, da, a storm. Da. Get on it straight away, patrons. Yeah. If you're not a patron, go and sign up now. Patreon.com slash Sloppy Joes podcast and also if you sign up for that i know I've, a lot of people know this but some people might not it's not just like the new stuff you get you get access to everything oh, that we have ever put on patreon so you get that come down with me at joe's you get the come down with me that was at ethan's before mm-hmm. you will get the come down with me that's at mine uh, in a few weeks as well so you get everything everything we've ever put up is all over on patreon.com forward slash uh, sloppy joe's podcast link to that is in the description if you can't be asked to remember it so go over there check it out sign up what do you want to run through few things first of all it's our birthday episode well congratulations <laughs> one year. year ethan ethan james and joan hello everyone hello oh, oh. fucking hell ethan can you clap uh yes you see a gig how would you clap at a gig um well you see in in assembly at school it would be a little bit like cupped so it'd be a yeah nice, nice. like that but the sort of gigs you go to these days it'd just be a single raised hand wouldn't it well, no, 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 no. It's, it's a gig, rally, more than anything, isn't it? Yeah, um, yeah. But because it's our birthday episode, we have pulled out all the stops, cut to Indeed. the wide, and that is the extent of the stops. A single, eight, Colin, Kieran, you know what, you, Kirsty you, yeah, the Caterpillar, yeah, yeah. whatever they're called these days. That is it, folks. Happy birthday to us. One single cake. Well, we're going to do it for the 9 out of 10 club later on, see if it gets in. But yeah. the thing with us is... Firm like, on the side. If we want to, we're good at organising, but sometimes life just gets in the way. Yeah, and also... So this is a birthday episode, so... But, we're, but Joe, happy birthday. we did our birthday bash live, live. this week. So there's plenty, we've done plenty for the birthday. There's balloons, there was birthday games, yeah. there was birthday entertainment. And again, if you want to see the full thing, we'll put a little clip of it in this podcast, hopefully. <laughs> we peaked, ladies and gentlemen. It's a bit from Oh my God. It's you so two are good. fucking same. You two, I mean, we're similar, but Christ, you two are the same. The full live show. That will be also out exclusively for patrons. And yeah. again, patrons get cheap live tickets, all that good stuff. So again, even more things to and, say. And it was I can't filmed, wait to watch that back. Uh, it was cl- class filming, producer yes. Chris, the old producer Chris from back in the day, filmed it all, made it look gorgeous. Yeah. The sound was uh, immaculate as well, so you can hear everything, so you will see it. So let's get into it. Yeah. The birthday bash, yeah. first of all, we wake up, we did something different this time around. We had a breakfast together. Group breakfast. Which was needed, wasn't it? Yeah, and uh, when you say together, what happened is Joe McGrath turned up first, ordered all of his stuff, ate and drank coffee by himself, and no, then we all ate I by ourselves be... shortly afterwards because Joe couldn't wait. So that is us I having breakfast starving. together. I are... was starving. You no, are. starving. It was 10 a.m. Yeah, what do you mean I, you were starving? I've been up since 8. Oh, oh, and two hours later, he couldn't wait another three minutes for everyone else hungry. to turn up. I was hungry. You are a nightmare at also, going out well, for a meal. Anything, with. If anything, I just bought food for myself and saved us as a business from paying extra on the business card. Sorry, that, what is that logic? I just spent my own none money of it on was, it. None of it was spent on the business card. So what did you want me to do? Wait and eat with us. Why? Like when you go out for breakfast with someone. You said we went out for breakfast yeah, but together. Yeah, spoons. It wasn't the ivy. That doesn't make a difference. I think it does. Of course, Ethan, what do you make of it? Well, I think usually when you go out for people for food, usually the, the consensus or the social norm is that you eat at, a, at pretty much the same time. Yeah, and, and remember two weeks ago when we went out for a meal to celebrate the live show, and did what we... happened that time when we went out for chicken wings? Did Joe eat with us or did he eat before we got there? Uh, before we got there. Right. <laughs> no, no, no. I ate, I ate with you. I bought animal fries. Oh, so you had space left for some fries after you'd already eaten two no, hours but before. I didn't, I didn't order the chicken wings before. They were left by Steph and Tom. Who also ate with us uh, two hours later, by the way. Which was weird. <laughs> yeah. They tucked into our little pickles. Anyway, yeah, that doesn't matter. I'm, I'm happy to share. Yeah. Well, this is becoming a also trend. Also as well, Will, who we were with, who helps on the social clip, he ordered. I couldn't tell him to oh, hold on. No. 
He got stuck in, so I was like, well, if he is, I am. Anyway, you know so we I mean? started with breakfast. Lovely breakfast. To well, tell you what, actually. Breakfast was all right, no, you know it? what? Mine was really good. Yeah. Because I've been to Spoons before, and like, you can tell, obviously, because it's cheap, there'll be this, this, and this, and I don't really like what this means. I don't like the owner, all that shit. But the, the mushroom, which I've had in the past, and it's like an air hockey puck. Yeah, bad. Fresh as you like. Lovely. Still red hot. Mm-hmm. No dryness. The bacon's got a mad taste to it. The bacon it's like we, smoked. We need smoked. we need to talk about Witherspoon's bacon, and I don't just mean us. I mean as a nation. Yeah. <laughs> what the it's fuck incredible. is going on with Witherspoon's bacon? Is it incredible? Because it's the only bacon I know that comes to you covered in smoke. <laughs> like it is literally grey with smoke. And it tastes like it's been, not like put on a grill, like put on the coals. Yeah, 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 really does. Why is it does. put straight onto the fire? Why is it black? Ethan didn't get the bacon, he got wafer thin ham. Really? Oh uh, yeah, that was an accident though. I didn't intend to get the ham. Why is it so thin and what can we do about it? Yeah, but it's delicious. I fucking love it, mate. Why is it grey and blackened? Is it grey? It's got grey smoke it weird on that it. Bacon's purple. Bacon is n- has never been purple. It is bacon is purple. It's it's not purple. It's a dark purple. No, no dark that. purple would be f- even further from what it is. It's a light purple then. When you say it's a light purple, do you mean like a sort of ready brown? What colour is, is it? A, like a ready brown. It's or a, a or a pink, if anything, wouldn't yeah. it? it wouldn't yeah, but be it's purple. a dark pink, aka a light purple. Bacon is closer to purple than it is to red or brown. Incorrect. Even. Uh, well, cooked, even, well, even, even. Well done, bacon. Even is, is, brown. is bacon closer to brown or purple? R- red was the option before, and I'd like to stick with red. Ready no, brown is what he I said. said brown. Anyway, don't worry about that. Why is bacon purple? The answer is because it's not. Um, so we went and had breakfast together. Then we made our way over to the venue, set everything up. So much. More chilled this time. Yeah. Last time, wow, it was. Heavy. Yeah, last time you left us at the studio when you went to collect the stuff. What is what? What, what is we, this? What Ethan? are we finding? Also, no, no, no. I'm on Ethan's side. Last time, do you remember this? No. Yeah, we we did. all said we're going to go to the studio. We had some bits to pick up. This is the first show. We've yeah. just done the second show. We had some bits to pick up. Then Joe's going to drive us to the to the um, to the venue. What happened is me and yeah, Ethan came inside, started finalising everything, finished off the PowerPoint to send to the technician. Power's full. This is that. You just drove off. My car was full. No, there was a, there was at least one seat free. Ah, uh, yeah, but you could, would you have left Ethan behind? No, but I would have let Ethan go with you. Well, that's nice. Well, you should have should have voiced that opinion. Mm. It was hard to when I, all we could hear was you speeding off into the distance. <laughs> anyway, I unloaded anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah it, was it, was good, unloaded. it was unloaded. So we got there and it was way more chill than last time. Also, we Ethan all can drive now. We should have rented a van or something, shouldn't you, Ethan? Uh, no, I, I've never drove independently yet, so I feel ha- renting a van would be quite a big step for that's me. Right. Patreon exclusive. Thought, yeah. Right, we get there, we, we're chilling out, aren't we? Yeah, it was great. We did a couple of things that you probably may have wanted to do b- prior to the show. Mm. Ethan was a magician. Yeah. We'll save that, save that one for the Patreon exclusive. But he pulled off a couple of tricks. He did. Which he learned. One hell of a trick. 20 minutes. He learned that morning. <laughs> he learned backstage before we went live. <laughs> Just before the, the live show started, by the way. They were, they were doing the test. I don't know which ones of you were in the room for this. I don't think you were. They were doing the test for the sound. Yeah. And there's like, do you know those big like black speakers that like people can stand on? They're that big and bulky. You know, we all <laughs> yeah, know the yeah, ones. Yeah, you yeah. see them at every single The wobbers. Gig. Those big bad wobbers, right? Cops and wobbers. They were testing the speakers and by accident, the speakers were on 100% volume. <laughs> Right, and I'm not joking, and I'm not just saying this like, oh, they're a bit loud. It's the loudest sound I've heard in my life. What I, was it? What did they play? It was like some song that just fucking started hard. There was no like, it wasn't like in the air tonight where it builds up for ages. It was a big song oh, starting big. It's the loudest noise I've ever heard. Shit themselves. Everyone shit themselves. The dog ran out. There was there a was dog a- in. <laughs> There's a dog in there. Me and my cousin were stood next to each other and he was literally saying, and I couldn't agree more with him, that it made him less scared of a nuclear apocalypse because what? It, it, you realise that for the first like quarter of a second when the noise was playing, it was so loud that it wasn't like noise. It, was, it just made my brain turn off. Like, it, honestly, for a second, I didn't know where I was. I didn't know what was happening. I didn't know if it was sound or if I'd been but, hit. But, it felt like a physical connection. But is a nuclear bomb going to be loud? <laughs> Joe, 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 Joe. Like, Joe, Joe. do you think 
the explosion of not just matter, <laughs> but the atmosphere itself might pack a little punch audio-wise. Do you think it's just going to be too loud, though? Because there's a point where sound... <laughs> Don't. There's a point Don't where sound... Don't you dare finish this sentence. Like, point... I didn't tell you this three where... days ago. <laughs> there's a point where this sound is... travels so, so quickly that you said, and I'll tell you, I, I remember now, halfway through saying it, you said it doesn't become sound anymore. I, I love that you were about to tell me that, <laughs> as though it wasn't me that told it. I remember, so I was this, the, the fact Who's is... Who told me this sound fact? And it was you in the dressing room. Yeah, it? so the fact is... Welcome, Sloppers. We are so excited to announce a brand new... Sponsor, and guess what it is? Of course, it's a food-based one. Wingfest 2023. This is one of the best festivals in the world for food. It is a collection of some of the finest chicken wings from so many different traders and different parts of the country coming together to sell you the best of the best in wings. Also, there's loads of booze, there's live music, there's entertainment, there's chaos, there's eating competitions, and there's Joe McGrath. I will be there every single one of them. You say every single one, how many can they be? Well, there's a Derby one, there is a London one, there's a Manchester one, there is a Birmingham one and a Bristol one. It's an amazing event. You'll love it so much. Grab a group of mates, come down. You'll have the time of your life. You've got to be quick on some tickets. For example, London pretty much sold out, but you can still get tickets for, for Manchester. Come on, that's a good hometown gig there. All the information you need, wingfest.co.uk forward slash tickets. Put it in your WhatsApp groups now. Put it in your messengers. Get a group of mates together. Bring your family as well for what is an incredible event. I will see you there. So will the Sloppers. I'm looking forward to seeing you at Wingfest 2023. See you in a bit. Apparently, Krak the ex oh, this is boring, but it's actually quite interesting. Yeah. The, ex the uh, eruption of Krakatoa, which is a, a, a volcano in, I think it's Indonesia. Apologies if that if that country isn't correct. It's near, it's near the island, of, near Java. How does oh Java, Indonesia? Yeah. Um, and it blew up around a hundred years ago. Yeah. And it was it's thought to be the loudest sound that has ever happened on the Earth's surface. Right. <laughs> this this volcano exploding. <laughs> Um, and it's That's like it's like a hundred big it's like hundred and eighty decibels or something. What about when the Titanic hit the iceberg? How, why would that have been dead noise? That's loud. That would have just sounded like a really big, like, spoon in a drink. Okay. Um, th how do you think that would even be close to a, a volcano of a live, like, loud thing? Yeah, no, it, this is infinitely louder than that. Yeah. And also, here's another thing I didn't realise before we get to the good fact. Yeah. Is that, do you know when you hear, like, oh, that was 90 decibels, that was 100 decibels. Every time that you go up by 10, it's not like one decibel is 1% is louder. It's every 10 decibels is 10 times louder than the thing before it. So 80 decibels is loud. 90 decibels is 10 times louder than 80. Wow. Da, 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 da. So you go up to 180, that's like 6,000 times louder than a fucking air horn. It's like the loudest thing of all time. You know. But in doing that, I've, re I've found a fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sound can only be, I think it's 194 decibels. That is the loudest any noise can possibly be on earth. <laughs> Because the, the, the way a sound gets louder is by the frequency, the, the, the bandwidth of the, oh, of just the air. Get to the main fact. The bandwidth of the air gets wider and wider yeah, and wider yeah, and wider. Blah, 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 blah. And eventually it gets so wide that it actually, instead of traveling through the air, which is what sound has to do, it pushes air and moves, air, moves the atmosphere itself. So that's when you get a sonic boom or a... Uh, or not sonic boom, a, a, a what's it called, a, a force wave or whatever. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Tidal it's, wave. Yeah. So my question is, a nuclear bomb goes off. Yes. Would we get that could a be really loud noise, or yeah. would we get a, a, a wave? Both, because that could be louder than sound is allowed to be. You'd get that uh, explosion, like the wave, where it yeah. just pushes air at you. But then there would also be a bang as well. Yeah. Mad. Yeah. You ever been to a nightclub that's got a sound uh, monitor on it, and if it goes over it, everything turns off. Has anyone been to a nightclub that does that? Yeah, 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 Magaluf. You couldn't go over 100 decibels in this club or the power just went. And at one point they were creeping at 98 when he was playing Avicii. Surely it's just capped. Like oh yeah, it probably is capped. <laughs> anyway. Uh, Why would right, it turn no, all the sound up? Why wouldn't it just turn it back down? Can we talk about the live show that doesn't ruin it, Ethan? For the patrons who was to watch it. Oh, that doesn't ruin it. Um, you could talk about um, 
my intro. Yeah, yeah. You came on as a magician. Yes, yes, indeed, I did. Um, you, know what? you could also talk about it. The the great Athene is uh, my name. Sure. Yeah. I just came up just before we went on the stage. <laughs> yeah. Um, Do you think you'll take magic now full time? Um, I when I was a youngster, I was really into magic. I used to have one of those um, like things on the end of your finger that when when the lights are a little bit dimmed. It looks like a red ball, and you move it around, and that then you it's hide it again. Stories, Do you it? know what I mean? And I once done that to a talent show when I was a kid, and I went on doing just that in front of the whole school. You brought your red ball on stage and touched it. So what I did was I, I was like walking around on the stage. I was going, "Does anyone see the ball?" And I'd go like this, and I'd go, Hell. "There's the ball." And That's I'd go, "Your teachers Ooh. got excited, didn't yeah. they?" Yeah. I'm like, "Oh, here's the ball." And then and then I started going around the teachers, and I started like putting it in the mouths of them and taking out no, the no, rears. No, no. Ethan, there's no way you put one of your red balls in a teacher's mouth. No, you see, that's the illusion. It's made to look that way, Joe. But how... But well, even stand if, up and caught that. But even if the, even if it was just your finger, you can't put your finger in a teacher's mouth. You put, you put your finger in a teacher's mouth? Well, I had a glove on, a white glove. That's... Sorry, yeah, we just had so, to cut to the we just had to cut to break the uh, a break there because Ethan's just revealed <laughs> right. something terrible happened at that right. uh, assembly. It, it, but yeah, right. Let's Ethan talk about some of the characters that made their way onto to, to the live show. Your stepdad makes an appearance, doesn't he, Ethan? He does. He comes on for the nine out of ten club show, and wasn't it fantastic? Now, I won't give too much away, but did you think Ethan's stepdad was going to look like he was looked? Did he? Did he? Did it everything? We Do you know about? what? He, he, I, I wasn't shocked by how he looked. Yeah. Do you know sometimes you go, fuck off. No way does the person I've been hearing about look like that. Yeah. He didn't look exactly how I imagined, but he looked pretty close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. sort of up for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great, a bit of grey hair, glasses, lovely, healthy tan. Yeah, yeah. Is the guy, is, is he outside a lot? Um, oh, yeah, he loves, loves the outside, loves a walk. So where does he get his tan from, do you think? Oh, probably the sun. Yeah, yeah I've heard of that. So yeah, he 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 came up, got his little um, cake out, uh, but he he, I'm just gonna say it. He basically said it's he acts as a um, aphrodisiac, didn't he? That cake, the ginger cake gives people give people erections. Has he fed you that before, Ethan? Um, no, no, he's given me the ginger cake before, yeah. but the um, the knowing the effect it might have. It literally, he literally says. Here's a little bit of a spoiler that the ginger cake gives people erections. Yeah. True or false, Ethan? Well, yeah, on the walking trips that he gives to the, the, the public group, one of the guys that I think it's Doug said that the ginger Doctor cake's Ryan, that good that I gave him an erection. Yeah. And then he obviously gives you that cake as well, knowing what Doug said. Um, and that's fine. What's isn't it? It's up to him if he wants to sort of push you in that direction. I give the whole audience the cake, actually, Joe. Yeah, fucking, it was crazy. What's the closest food that gives you an erection? Am I putting it in my mouth? You're eating it and you fucking hell, that was good. Yeah. Some my, my t- ribs. Yeah. Do you know when you get a, when you get ribs just right? Yeah. And it's so rare that yeah, you do, yeah, which yeah, is yeah, maybe yeah. why it's it's so much better. Because I think there's very few places where you can get good ribs in England. But when they're right. <laughs> You, you. I've let slip some funny, like some some one off, one off lines from you recently. Like what? Like you just say stuff with such assert- assertiveness that I just say, oh, he's right there. That you can only get good ribs from a couple of places in England. I didn't. But that, but interestingly Where, what, enough, what that is what, what I said. What did you say? It's quite rare that you get good ribs in England. Okay. And that's true. It gets. Most places in England that serve ribs are shit. Yeah. Aren't they? But there's some good ones though. Like what? Chinese none ribs. in Manchester. Chinese ribs. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm talking barbecue style oh, ribs, like American yeah, barbecue. Yeah. You know, you, you sort of. Have you tried Blue's Kitchen's ribs? Apparently they're good. They're anyway, fine. crack on. Right, a rib in your mouth. Yeah, you that can get me going, in, oh, in a way that few things can. Ethan, um, a food that makes me feel like I want to touch myself. Um, mm. Well. I don't know if I've... A Cadbury's ever, cream egg. Oh, I hate a Cadbury's cream egg. That'll make me want to hurt myself. What about a chocolate true. finger? Um, I had, the interior isn't 
interesting enough, Drew, but I understand what you're doing there. Chocolate finger could probably finger yourself with it or something. Um, yeah, I really well done, actually. Thank you. Mine's alioli. I got good, good alioli. It's fucking well. Ravioli? No, alioli. What's it's alioli? this sort of garlic dip in it. Oh. Like gar- basically like garlic mayo in it. Oh. Delicious. <laughs> Do you love it? You brought oh. it in once and it wasn't that good. Fuck off. Uh, let's talk about Alan as well. Yeah. Alan made a, 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 a surprise visit. I, I didn't, didn't know, know who was coming. I Did know you know who was coming? Oh, well, yeah, I, I knew he was coming through. Uh, Alan's my friend, um, so we arranged him to come down. But yeah, what a spectacular appearance, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, and there was a point where, in, in I think what might be a showbiz first, you two both left me on stage by myself <laughs> and went, we're going to go wash our hands. There was, no, 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 no. If you were in that situation, there's a point where me and Ethan were messy and we we're going to go take photos. Right of the audience stuff like that, and we needed to wash our hands before that. Yeah, so you could you... have left the stage. No, you, no, I couldn't have left the stage because so everyone would have left. It was the end of the show, and you went, "Oh, Joe, you just stick around for a few minutes." So I got Alan on stage, and we started dancing together. And and the dancing that Alan was whipping out on that on those last few minutes was incredible. Stomping, showing his little, doing like proper like yeah, yeah, yeah. dance moves. Alan was great. Describe Alan, Ethan, if if people forgot. We spoke about him before, haven't we? Um, mm. I'll describe Alan as um, a, a young, mm. uh, short, yeah. Um, yeah. ginger, yeah. Um, loves a beer, Lo- <laughs> loves a beer. Yeah. Um, How many beers do you think he had before the live show? Dive. To the nearest ten. Yeah, this this go ten. Um, and <laughs> it started at half twelve. Can I say something about Alan? If you want to imagine what it looks like, imagine they've cloned Anthony Worrell Thompson and we are now 18 years into regrowing the um, Ready Steady Cook star. Yeah. He's, he looks like a young Anthony Worrell Thompson, doesn't he? I, I don't know who that is. Right, Google it, but he looks just like him. Alan was great. Alan, with maybe the line of the show, the, he was uh, chatting to, we said, how are you doing, Alan? He went, all right. He went, I was, uh, I was too hot on the way here. So I went to the post office and posted my coat back to Newcastle for £6.50 and came to the show, which is one of the most incredible things I've ever heard. So someone in the audience I know who came was just a, a friend. Um, he said he said he couldn't breathe when he first heard that. Yeah. Because he posted his coat back. Do we have any updates from Alan or could we text him to see if he secured his coat back uh, safe and sound, Ethan? Uh, I could do that right now and maybe I could update you as the show goes on. I'm, I'm sure they put it in their bag and everything, but I love to imagine just to fucking... L- trench coat yeah. with a stamp on the collar yeah, of it just yeah, yeah, floating yeah. around floating. in the thing but Alan was great the show was great I think how did you it really feel well. by the way afterwards when you were on that bit where everything just sort of chills out and everyone's in the uh, in the bar I was really drink. happy everyone was really nice afterwards chatting to people yeah, meeting nice. people um, taking pictures and everything it's I hard though it. getting like making sure you keep your family happy as well isn't it yeah and your friends happy well just generally no not just generally because oh. obviously hey, everyone was lovely trying to uh, having a great picture with us was good yeah and you just see your friends in the corner mm. it's like oh, well, I need to angle myself get to them yeah you're really good at that. you're a great schmoozer when you wake you're up you're a good schmoozer when you wake up in the morning you hit the schmooze button don't you I, I hit the snooze button you're really good at that you love going over to people affable chap yes my ex was there you're joking PT Oh, yeah, the PT was there. Oh, uh, did you have a quick session before the show? We did a quick or? session before the show. We had a little chat afterwards, made sure to take the piss out of you just enough. Um, but I've, I've How many actually, weeks are you in now? Well, I'm, I think I'm eight weeks in, but we've actually upped it to a 16-week uh, programme now, up wow. from 12. Because let's make this a lifestyle, do you know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> let's really go for this. Amazing. What yeah. did you make of the PT, Ethan? Did you think about getting some lessons yourself? Uh, well, I've got a little update before we go on to that. Um, I've got some pictures here of... Uh, of a big envelope and uh, oh. inside as you can see is Alan's coat that has arrived safe That's and sound amazing. he'll be delighted did to you know. get the train down or coach or how did he, it work? well they got the train down first no, one he got posted cancelled. himself here <laughs> yeah special delivery <laughs> first class signed popped himself in a uh, 640 quid 640 quid but it's courier so he was here in three hours do you know what I mean and then he just pops up go back to the post office post himself home and, and sometimes he meets his coat before he gets back because he, he, he delivers himself on a faster delivery than he delivers the coat. So if it gets cold in the, you know, the, the fuselage of a uh, Boeing 737 courier, fuselage. then uh, he just puts his coat on and he finds it in there. Incredible. Yeah, good on Alan. 
Yeah, good on Alan. Um, uh, speaking of coats, can we talk about your coat that you're wearing right now, by the way? Because you've come here dressed like you've just got a job on Radio 4. What do you mean? What's wrong with a, this? A cross between me and sort of Sandy Togsvig today. Went to... This isn't you. What, why, have you gone, why have you got like a suit jacket on? It's not a suit jacket. It's what is it? It's Uniqlo. Uh, we like this Uniqlo, like you. don't we? And, and, and this shirt was going to be like a smart shirt that I wore whilst interviewing people at... Um, Inside number nine. Inside number nine. Yeah. But then it didn't. It didn't feel right. It was a bit too big. So then, can we? Can you? Stand and then, up can I also this? say the re? Do you know what the real reason is? I'm wearing this. Yeah, go on. I lost the receipt. Right. I knew something. Had and happened. I was like, well, what the fuck do I do now? Yeah. Like, it is like, navy, yeah. so it ticks one it's of your navy, boxes. Can we stand up? Can I see it? Oh, stand up. Because it's just. It's. It's quite. It's like. This is a new you, I think. What do you mean? I just like well, it. Well, it's dark as fuck, so no one can see it. I, uh, it's just nice. I, w I had a mate, and I'm not saying that this is happening to you, by this the way. Is, this is going to be <laughs> not nice, is it? It's not you nice for him. But First it's... of all, is he dead? I don't think he's dead, but who could say? I had a mate. You could. I don't know. I'm not mates with him anymore. I, I was you still... could probably say if he's alive or not. I think he's alive. Okay. I've got no reason to think he's dead, except what I'm about to say. And this isn't you, by the no, way. No, it just reminded is... me. Oh, yeah. I had a mate, right, who was at college. I don't want, you know, I'm not going to say his name, but he's a good lad. Um, who was really a big lad. We're talking six foot two, six foot three, all the stones. Like, massive, right? Massive. And he was so big that he <laughs> could only wear shorts. That's not cause right. Because jeans didn't fit him anymore. He was just shorts all year round. Until one day, he turned up, and obviously this was the only other thing that fit him. He went from wearing, basically like a sort of oversized surfer dude. Do you know the guy that plays the Somewhere Over the Rainbow? The, the big... Wizard of Oz? No, on the ukulele, that version. He's a really Dorothy. big guy, I think, he's, I think he's died now. Kind of that. So he, he was dressing like a big hoodie and these shorts, almost like a big surfer dude. And then one day, he obviously discovered that something else could fit over him. And he came in in a full three-piece suit. And he would, and the only two outfits I ever saw him wear was maroon hoodie, big shorts, or three-piece suit. And I wonder if this is your three-piece suit era. Where what do you mean? Where you found another type of clothing that, will, that works for you. And are you going to be wearing this all the time? No, now? I'm just literally wearing it because I've lost the fucking receipt. What do you mean is this, Matthew? Well, this isn't the only thing that fits, by the way. What's going on here? This is too big for me as a shirt. That's why I'm wearing it as a jacket. That's what I'm saying. You've got room to grow into it. Is this you for your next phase? I don't know what's going on here, Ethan. Ethan, you're laughing as well. But I have got a nice new sh top on. Yeah. He is dead, by the way. And all you do is come for me. No, no, I, I'm not no, saying. No, no, I'm you not are, say, you no. You are. You are. I'm not saying. You're, you two are obsessed. I'm not saying this. I is let Ethan's learning difficulties go. <laughs> I hardly <laughs> mention. I hardly mention that you may die one day because of your heart. But yeah. yet you just constantly bring up. No, I wear a new jacket. This is. Like, oh, are you going to grow into that? This isn't a to I'm do with grow into it. This isn't to do with your weight. What I'm saying is, for ever since I've known you, you've had one outfit. The way that the guy at college had. Maroon hoodie, shorts. That was you with that's your not true, is it? The, your mustard and navies. No, no, I'll, I'll give you that. I had two colours, and I've never seen you colors, wear an overshirt. Like. But I've still, I've still got different ways of wearing. I wear fleeces, I wear jackets, I wear shirts, I wear tops. This, this is, is just a this shirt. This is like a suit jacket, though. But the way the collar is splayed, there's a sort of Saturday night fever to it. Ethan, what do you think? Uh, well, you wore this the other day with us as well to Nando's, didn't you, Joe? I and did. Have you took on board my advice of don't wear that unless you iron it? I don't think it needs ironing. I think it's, a, it's of a linen-esque material. And I can't say, I've got, I've got a similar jacket on. But it just isn't, it's not like you. I wonder if you're copying me, that's all. I'm not going to copy you, no. Mm. I'm not co Do you think I'm copying you? I don't think you're copying me, but that's Ethan just what James is there at the start of this journey. I came in, I, I just needed something smart to wear. Yeah. So we're inside number nine. I think nine, it looks really nice, actually. If I'm if, honest, what I want to say is I think that jacket's nice. No, you just basically said that there was a fat guy in your year who yeah. wear three piece suits, and that's what I'm doing right no, now. No, no, no. That is exactly what But I've explained you know, to you, I've laid it out to you that I'm not saying because of the weight thing, I'm just saying it turned out he had a second outfit. And oh, I feel like yeah. we're in your second outfit phase. Do you iron your clothes? Very, very rarely. Ethan irons. 
do you? A uh, 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 steam. Because we don't have it. We've got you an just iron. Put it in the little pan next to the broccoli. Oh, no, sorry, Joe. Uh, we, we, we don't have a ironing board. We've got an iron, but that's rendered useless without a base to iron it on. So we've got a steamer. And I, like, hang it up and I give it a good old steam. You could iron on just on a table, like your mm, kitchen yeah. table. Yeah. I would, uh, put a little tea cloth down underneath it. Wow. Well, so on Patterson's back. Yeah. I could use Patterson's back. Yep. Uh, it's, it's, it's just always covered in clutter the table though so it's not really possible to iron on it how are you joe anyway i'm good are you okay because you yeah. went to a well, wedding you went to a wedding didn't you i did well we all did separate things after the live show yeah i went to a wedding the wedding was brilliant was it uh yeah i got suit and booted nice suit uh, uh suit jacket and all that i like wearing a suit you know yeah so i've carried on doing this it. isn't a suit uh, but it's got a it's got a you little turn um, up to court in this no but it's got a little rob bryden on the trip vibe to it hasn't it do you know what i mean a touch of the brydens to it does it? Yeah. Have you ever seen the trip? Have you watched that? I've watched a couple of episodes of series one. Yeah, that's something that Bryden would maybe wear. Well, thank you. I yeah. like Rob Bryden. He's good. Yeah. So that's I wear a proper suit though. Yeah. With nice trousers. Oof. Trousers are comfy. I don't think I've got these on. They're not trousers, are they? Yeah. No, I've talked about proper ones. Oh. What are they? Trousers. Are they? These have got a pleated edge. How would you define a trouser? Well, it. What? what? How would you define a trouser? Just the shape of them and the cut of them and the material. What are they made out of? Depends. A good suit is made out of um, merino wool, I believe. You sort of your high end suits. Wool. Wool. Yeah. Can yeah. I interrupt? Sorry. Yeah. Um, I've done a bit of research because I was um, just thinking there. Like, I think I've seen you some wear something like this before, true. And in episode one, I think you wore um, this thing here, if you can see it there. That's quite uh, similar to right yeah. now, isn't it? Oh, yeah. That's so interesting. That. So, it's not, so it's not exactly the first time. a year ago. Maybe once a year, I'll wear an overshirt. Yeah, yeah this that is was the, the first episode. A year later, I've done it. I won't fucking be wearing this again. Well, this is the only other time it's happened. Interesting, that isn't what it? A bad statement. How do you know? In the seventy episodes we've done, that's the only time we're an overshirt. Uh, well, I've had like a little. Right, comment below. Have I ever worn an overshirt before? It's not. But it's not just an overshirt. It's an overshirt with lapels. <laughs> I don't, what's lapels? Are they microphones? No. That's where the microphone clips onto. Do you know when it, it, it folds back like that, like a suit does? Yeah. I had a lovely wedding. Yeah. Uh, Tom and Faye, congratulations. Wonderful uh, bride and groom. I got emotional. Why? It was fucking well nice, the wedding. Where was it? Uh, Nutsford, in a barn. <laughs> like one of those barns that are made to be a wedding. Mm. The, this is the wedding of the wedding singers. What? So the wedding, he's a wedding singer. Oh, wow. Well. So let's just tell you this, the entertainment was unbelievable. It has to be. And he even did half an hour himself. He is. The ego of the man. No, no. Mm. Saving a bit of cash, aren't you? You're saving cash, but you're also... He's fucking good as well. Pushing it. Nah, he's good. For example, your, the food at your wedding needs to be great, doesn't it? Yeah. Because that's your... It will be great. And I, I've got no doubt it will be. So obviously the, the, yeah. the, the event, the, the music at his wedding was great. What was the music like? Just like... Big covers of the best songs, sort of reworked a little bit, oh. amped up a bit. Oh, wow. Big old lighting was brilliant. You know, you felt like you were at a proper gig. Really? He, look, he looked like a rock star. Did it's it? called Tommy's brilliant. But let's get this. So they're going to South Africa for um, for their honeymoon. Yeah. So I thought, do you want me a nice touch? I get them as well as get them a bit of cash, English cash. Um, get them some South African dollars. Mm. So I don't know much about South African dollars. I went to the Tesco's in Stockport. I said, got to the, in. said to the geezer, I said uh, the travel travel money bit. I said travel geezer, how much South African have you got? And then leave it with me. He went away for a couple of minutes, came back. I wanted I'll, I wanted forty quid's worth. Yeah, I love that. How much uh, how much South African you got? As long as it's equal to or less than forty pounds. He came back and said, listen, I've only got thirty four quid's worth. What? I said, I've only got 34 quids worth of South African dollars. I think you moving back and toward the microphone is going to be horrible to people to listen to. So try it's and stay fine. stable. So I said, yeah, I'll take it. So then he goes in the back and he brings out what I can only describe is a wad of cash so fucking big. <laughs> the I couldn't believe I looked like a drug dealer. I said, what's this? He went, this is all I've got. This is 34 pounds, English pounds worth of South African dollars. And he only had five pound notes, and I've already paid for it. So I was walking around Stockport really? with what looked like a robbery. Yeah. I was like, fuck 
fucking hell, I've still got a good bit to go. You'd I'd think to, it was 200 grand's worth. Yeah, you really would. Yeah. And it didn't fit in the card, so a little bit had to be shoved in the box. And, oh my God. and anyway, when he opened the card, Tommy, he really thought it was like, he thought it had gone above and beyond. So oh. I had to explain to him, I said, Just say that's no. about 20 pints worth of, 20 pints is good though, isn't it? 30 quid, yeah, that's all right. Of South African dollars. Um, there I was bet a, you felt, did you feel embarrassed handing it over? Because you know, oh my God, he's going to think this is about yeah, two I grand did. here. Yeah, I did. Oh, I, like, I bet you thought as well, because you're the sort of person that n you could earn anything. Do you know what I mean? What do you mean? If, if I said, <laughs> if I asked 50 people, what do you think Joe McGraw earns? They would say anywhere between like 15 grand a year and 100 grand a year. Fuck you like know. you're the sort of person that because of what you do, it's a bit like, what is this? So you think I could have actually given two grand? I think if I opened a wedding card from you and you were a close friend, if you, there was 500 quid in it, I wouldn't be that There's shocked. There's no way I'm ever giving you 500 No, I don't think, I know you now you won't. Um, I've seen your finances. Uh, the bar was brilliant, the food, uh, great. They had a crisp wall, which was mint. Sorry? They had a cladding wall. What, like it's just got some like cladding on it? No, there was a wall that was filled with crisps. Every single crisp you can think of. Then there was a pick and mix bar, bar which I made the most of. Then there was a gambling section, which would give one guy PTSD, but it gave me a joy. So you have like a hundred quid each. So, it's Fake so overall it was worth it. One guy got PTSD, but you got a little bit of joy out of it. So, yeah. you know, that's I had, uh, net neutral. I, I, um, there's a pizza van rocked up. What the fuck is a crisp wall? <laughs> Why are we moving past that? Like the idea of a wall made out of one of the least structurally sound objects on right, well, earth first of all it isn't waterproof all, it doesn't stop wind full, there's not like loads of crisps it was crisp packets like filled so it was a wall imagine this wall now yeah a dream if anything made of different crisp packets ready salted yeah space invaders w what would happen if you what's it you took a, a bag of crisps out the wall could it, it wasn't fall? structurally like it wouldn't fall over you were allowed to take crisps. That wasn't a load-bearing wall. wall. No, 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 you know, you can't get rid of like your stronger crisps at the bottom, like your Doritos. They didn't cause that. Your Pom Bears at the top. No, you could get rid of anything and take it and eat it. It was beautiful, delicious. And then got levered, figured out that Vecchi was like, all week, make sure you pre-book a taxi from Nutsford to Stockport. I said, I will, I will, I will. Had loads on, didn't we? Yeah. Got to the end of the night. Vecchi went, what time is taxi going on? Oh, shit. Called the taxi. Nutsford to Stockport, 65 quid. Where is Nutsford? 65 quid away. <laughs> you think how many kept... South African dollars you could have no. got from that taxi journey? But it was a great day. Was what it? did you do afterwards? I went out with my cousin and my girlfriend, and we bumped into her brother and his friend as well. How was it? Where did you go? Great. The three um, brewery tap rooms up behind Piccadilly. Oh, I'd rather kill myself. Oh, sorry. <laughs> go ahead. So we went there and- It's done though, the tap room's done in it. What do you mean it's the done? The tap room is oh. done. Okay. Here's the tap room okay. is Here done. we go, folks. Here's a beer that's Here we six go, quid folks. and tastes like shit. Here we go, mm. folks. What are you this getting? Is I'm getting candy call, floss. This is what we call- Fuck the, off. The, this is Joe McGrath. Sell Madry. This is Joe McGrath pre-backtrack. Remember the Guinness debacle where he said not only does no, he think Guinness... No. Oh, sorry, so, turn, turn, turn his mic down if he's not going to shut up. Not only did he say Guinness was shit, but people who drink it are wankers. He I then... Said you, were wankers. you said it's hipster, said... splitting the G, splitting the harp, all that. You said everyone was a dickhead. No, then, no, your no, little, no. then your little cheese-coated no, no, mate no. comes in and all of a sudden you can't get enough fucking Guinness, can you? Like so all it takes, all it's going to take is someone else who reviews food no. to say that tap rooms well, are good what and Joe will change his mind. I got a selection of little beers, didn't oh, I? Oh, fuck off. Ethan, what are tap rooms at dawn? Um, I've not had enough experience, but I do love trying different little flavours of beer and things like also, that. Also, right. madry of all the things to pick. Awful yeah, beer. Awful beer. Oh, oh, it's not awful. Oh, yeah, but it's done though, isn't it? What do you mean Was there a load done? of you like looking at the beer, like swirling it around? Like, no. Just get pissed. We did. No, there wasn't a lot of you. Because it's dying. No. We it's weren't, a trend that we is dying. Weren't, we weren't swilling beers around. They were all packed, by the way. So some people don't seem to think that it's dying. However, the Madri bar that you go to, <laughs> which I'm sure, first of all, exists, and second of all, isn't shit as fuck. I'm sure that is absolutely booming, hey, isn't I tell it? You, I tell you where I had a Madri event on this weekend. What? Where did you go after the show, Ethan? Um, I went to a place called Disorder because we got rejected from another bar. And oh, we are you allowed in if you've got one? I thought you, I thought you went to Oast House. Uh, we went to Oast House, yes. I had a Madri event on, that's why I said it. Oh yeah, so they did actually, oh. yeah. 
And, it, and it's sad the day that you found out that Madri is brewed in the UK and is owned by Carly. No, the guy on the front's made up. That guy on the Not front who's dressed again. like a little, who's dressed like racist a fucking racist, stereotypical sort of Spanish slash Italian bartender with his so, flat peak cap and his sweater vest. He's just a cartoon drawn by someone in Luton. So you went to three tap houses. Yeah, and then we came into the Northern Quarter, went to a couple of different bars. I'm talking your soup kitchen. I'm talking nice. your Junior Jackson's. Okay. Did you survive? Yeah, loved it. Had a pint of um, Blue Wicked uh, with See, a little, that's more like with uh, some what in it? What's Lemon. it called? No, um, port. Uh, Oof, what's like that a called? A cheeky Vimto. Cheeky Vimto. We had a big pint of Cheeky Vimto. Yeah. And I did a little pole dancing. Uh, did you feel all right though? Feel terrible. Then I went home. We got a big, 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 big pizza. Where from? Uh, well, the uh, No, <laughs> awful. Uh, Deep Pan Express on the High Street in Stockport. And then we took it home, ate that, uh, and promptly went to bed. But it was a great night, great day. Wow. It was good to meet you, cousin Stan. Yeah. Finally met him. Finally met him. him. Lovely guy. Lovely guy, but nicer than you. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a strange thing that yeah. my, all my mates oh. are nicer and better than me. All your mates are way Did more, Andy way more nuts than you yeah I met Andy he looks like you if do you know like when you see these <laughs> these programs from like the war where like one child goes off as an evacuee to like live with like a rich, a rich family and the other one has to stay and sort of live in the sewers to get away from the bombs that's you and Andy Got, you look like the same genes but he's had a tougher life do you know what I mean? You got sent to the to Leamington Spa, and he got sent to Flemington Spa somewhere in. So Sheeple. where did you go, Ethan? What was your night like? Oh well, um, obviously went to the Oost House. Then went for a curry, just for seventeen of us. <laughs> How was that? Show off. That can always be quite tricky. By the way, we weren't invited to the curry. No, no, we had that. At no point were we were invited to the curry. Yeah, I mean you'd. You'd made it clear that you weren't available for the But curry. he never said come to it. No, but I, I was were available. Even. I was available. Um, I don't know if you'd want to have um, come, Joe. Interesting. Um, you usually let the person decide that themselves mm. rather than imposing that on them. Oh, well, nice. I was going to say, considering that um, McGraw um, called my friends um, the, the, the cast from One Who Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, so I don't know if you'd want to uh, associate himself with such lunatic asylum scum. I never called him scum. You implied scum. No, it's like it's like the cast of one flew over the cuckoo's nest, isn't it? Yeah. But they love curry. How many poppadoms do 17 people get between? Oh, well, quite a lot of poppadoms. Um, 34, we've got... that's two each. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably around about 34, actually. That's probably a good estimate, yeah. It's a lot, but two each isn't enough, is it? And what did you order? Um, well, um, obviously, uh, many shows of uh, Indian <laughs> ethnicity. Um, <laughs> So she suggested what I should have. Really well structured sentence. And what was it? What was it? It was some uh. lamb dish. Uh, I can't quite remember the name, but it was really nice and quite hot and a bit tomatoey and a bit three chilies. It was. Wow. So what? Bit a bit of meat, bit bit of spice and bit of tomato. Bit of, a bit of naan bread as Ooh, well. Nice. Just describing every curry of all time. Peshri naan bread. Peshri, pe sorry, what go am on. I trying to say? Go on, go on. You've what is it? Seafood. Come on, mate. So obviously you've got your curry, you've got your rice, and then with that you want a lovely... We'll, we'll two no, 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 you're out. not allowed to Google it. Think no, 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 it. Ethan, eyes up. Eyes up, Ethan. He's Googling, he's cheating. I'm not, I'm not. He is, he's cheating. I'm not, I'm not cheating. He's cheating, you just cheated. I don't cheat at all. He looked down on his phone I'll, to Google it. My phone is, my, my phone is over here. So, so it's not garlic so what and it's it? not plain. What was it's it? Uh, the one that's a bit coconutty. Yeah, wow. uh, what's it called? I, I, I think it's just the camera that's made me freeze. Yeah. Pitch, pitch. Well, oh, was so it was so what, what I like to do sometimes is when I have no word, but I can't say, I just sort of let sounds come out of my mouth and hope that my brain puts them in the right okay. order. So just have a just <laughs> so <laughs> like a little curry, tomatoey, spicy. You got a, you got a, a, the, the poppadoms. You got the rice, and with mm. that you're gonna have a nice little uh, pet naan bread. Push push push. push, push, push the sounds bread. come out. You stop in the middle. I want to see a peshwari for some. Yeah. Is that right? right? Is that right? right? Yeah, yeah. Peshwari. So how did the night no, end? No, like? no, don't take the piss out of us. No, Peshwari none. But is I'm it? Just kima. 
That's nice. That is Peshwari. 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 Do you not believe that it's Peshwari? I've convinced myself it's Have not. you seen the Americans on TikTok fuming uh, about us saying that we're uh, racist, racist for the way we uh, say what we're going to eat? We call it a Chinese or an Indian. And they're like, why do we say that? There's like a new trend on TikTok of Americans watching us mm. eat a Chinese. They call it a Chinese food. Which makes sense. Indian takeout. We just call So like there's these Americans reacting live to a guy going, I've just ordered a Chinese. <laughs> when, you, when, you, when you think about it, it's it, like, it is it's a bit weird, isn't it? An, an Indian. Just ordered an Indian. Do you know what How that, do you say it, Ethan? Yeah. Ordered an Indian. Hmm. When you say it though, it feels weird. Um, no, but I'm sick of all this American stuff. Oh, yeah, and, I, and I am American, half American. But the thing, do you know these things that I hate? This, obs this obsession with everything having a name. So this, I hate, What's fucking name? hate. Oh, what year we want? Oh, you're a Gen Z. You're oh, a Gen X. Yeah. You're, a, you're a boomer. You're a this, that. No, you're not. A pedophile. No, 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 no. That's not depending on what year you're born. That's just what you go up to. But this, they're like, what, oh, you were born in 1990s. You're a Gen Z. No, you're not. But it's like that people aren't born every single day of, of, of the history of Earth. Yeah. <laughs> like people are born all the time. There's, it doesn't stop and then you're this and then stop and you're that. It's just like big, stupid uh, horoscopes, yeah. but on a slightly larger scale. And people are, oh yeah, but boomers are like this. Baby boomers are like this. Gen Z are like this. Gen X are like that. No, they're not. It's fucking shit. And also, I tell you, the other one I hate is that people who are obsessed with everyone being an alpha male. Or a beta male, or a, or a sigma male. What are you on about? What is this? Why does everything have to be labelled all the know. time? Fucking does my head in. Uh, sorry, just to build on that. Um, I had a lal mass, was what I ordered lal at the mass, curry restaurant. Nice, that. Mate, I went to Dishoom yesterday with my dad. Fucking hell, what a place. You ever been? Yeah. It's unbelievable. What do you make of it? I loved it. The chilli chicken. Even how did United end, by the way, with the team of... Did everyone take the meds on time? Um, well, there's a big split. The group of 17 went in different directions. <laughs> Who knows where everyone what, went. What was Alan? What are you doing well, Alan was fine. Alan was a, 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 had plenty to drink, was in really good spirits. And um, we made sure he, we got him on the train in oh, time. He and off on. he went back. Right, so yeah. what are the chances of us doing a little special? Like going up and spending the day with Alan. Oh, wow. That would be brilliant, wouldn't oh, it? It would be good. Just to dig. We take the next day off. Going down. We're coming to the point now where, you know, football season's over. Yeah. You know, there's only weekend games. We could probably have a look at a little Saturday or a Friday. Yeah. Up. A, a night on the two. Not too long. Day with Alan. And Come he back. just takes us through an average day. Do you think he'll do that? And we go pint for pint with Alan. Yeah, I'd think we'd, I we'd love to play dominoes down at the club. Sometimes have the championships on there. Um, a few drinks. Newcastle United. I love that bit. That would be a dream day. Oh, right, before going. we get going, hmm. it's our birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday, Joe. Yeah. I feel like we've been quite argumentative this podcast. Are you keen for me? I oh, know. See how, because we're wearing something different, it reminds you of a guy who's, who's died from being overweight. He <laughs> <laughs> wore a suit. <laughs> You've completely read into that. A, a, an insult where there was no sorry, insult. Sorry, if you started talking about a story, then oh, it reminds me of this. Yeah, but I, I explained which bit it reminded me of. Just the fact that wow, new outfit alert. Yeah, I think it was really unfair. But I think now, Joe, you should start tucking into your chocolate cake. He already has. I've already had a foot. <laughs> I've already had a foot. Right. Well, what we're going to do for the night of ten club this week is what was he called, Ethan? Oh, that's a good question. I'll go find the box. They're all called different names, aren't they? There's, what are they called? Like Maverick, for, for, for people who are watching Goose. abroad, how do you describe this cake? It's a chocolate roulade. This one's called Morris. Morris. Is it Morris? Yeah. That's it's a Morris. chocolate roulade, which is there. then itself coated in chocolate and made to look like a sort of uh, a caterpillar for, you know, yeah. children's purposes. Did you, is this your cake of choice as a kid? No, I didn't, uh, my birthday cake as a kid was fruit salad. I didn't have cake. What are you talking about? What? How is that? What how are you, you doing? Start this? Right, give it. I'll cut it. Um, Who's gonna have the uh, face? <laughs> sorry, I forgot what I was doing there. Right, sorry. Um, 
My birthday cake. Have the face? You can have the you face. Have the face. Jeez. Right. Honestly, in the group chat we've got, he's mentioned this fucking face twice, and he's just mentioned it twice again. Right, Joe, well, about, no, you no can have the did face, you have a man. Fruit salad as a kid. Yeah, I didn't like. I don't like cake, do I? So you had a salad with apples and that. In. It's not a salad, is it? It's not fucking Caesar dressing on it. It's... So why do you call it fruit salad? Because I it. didn't name it. Have you never heard of the concept of a fruit salad? Clearly not. <laughs> <laughs> What sometimes, you Joe, sometimes you come to this podcast with the most fucking insane selection of knowledge. What are you Because you are about? really no, 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 smart. Sorry, I'm sorry. You're a smart you've guy. Never had a, you've had a fruit salad as a kid, so they put a fucking candle in an orange. How on earth do you not know what a fruit salad is? How have you not heard of that? What is it? Is it <laughs> what is it? A Ethan! A salad with made of fruit. <laughs> yeah, well, yes, but... Surely that comes that concept comes quite naturally to you. Are you being serious right now? I know what a fruit salad is, but why would that be like a So imagine a big bowl of just different fruits. Right. So why did So where the fuck do you stick your candle? You don't put a candle in it. Or in a bit of uh, banana. That's what I couldn't get my head round. Right. Happy birthday yeah. to Joe. Mum brings out the big salad. Mum brings out over. the big bowl full of fruit salads. I don't want his face anymore. Why? Tastes like shit. <laughs> Give it a good go, though. Is it nice? Calling the caterpillar cake is nice. How much was it? Uh, it was six ninety nine. Oof, get out. That's got up, on it? Yeah. Right, talk to us, Ethan, because I know you love calling the caterpillar. Morris, um, in this case. This is Morris. I'm going to have a little bite of Morris now for the audio listeners. What do you make? Oh, yes. Oh. And that tastes like childhood. No. It's just no messing about, is it, Colin? Or whatever you want to call it. Um, it's it's a decent cake. It's not nine out of ten club, though, is it? What have you been cooking? Pardon? Um, well, you kindly got me um, Colin the Caterpillar cake for my birthday, true, mm. at the office, which was a lovely lovely memory. <laughs> um, I was going to offer some to. Uh, the footballer Rio Fernand, but I thought you wouldn't find that too funny, so I well, didn't. He might, he might have had some. I think he, it would have been a bit too silly for him and his brand. I can't see him having a Colin the Caterpillar cake. Mm. Too serious for that, I think. Right. But it just meant more cake for me. So what do you think of it, then? I think it's brilliant. I think it's in. Really? Wow. Right, so it's on you, Joe. Does the Colin the Caterpillar cake get in over your fruit salad? What a crazy idea that is. <laughs> Fucking fruit salad. I love it when we have these episodes. Every sort of month or so, we just have an episode where we all just get mad at each other. <laughs> um, it's obviously not in, is it? Cake is shit anyway, and this is an average cake. So there's no way it could go in. Not just sure. Do you know what I mean? What do you think? It's just not good enough, is it? I don't think there'll be many cakes that could get into the Nine Out of Ten Club. Apart from, well, Ethan's. Dad's ginger cake. That was nice, because that was, was a bit fruitier. Pressure, wasn't it? That was sort of halfway between fruit uh, and fruit salad and cake, which is really just exactly what I was looking for. You yeah. right, Joe? Yeah, yeah, I'm good, I'm good. I hate seeing you like this. <laughs> you got me like this! He's, 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 what's he called? Is that gaslighting where you like, makes one feel bad and they go, I hate, seeing, I hate seeing you like this. I like that, true, it is. Yes, it's all Maybe true. Maybe he's made me stories like this. about a guy who could... <coughs> Oh, I nearly imagine if I die, call it Colin Caterpillar Kate. What a fucking way to go. Um, anyway. Maybe don't tell you stories about. But I, what I said Obese is. Obese men who can't wait for what three piece suits and then say it's the same as me. <laughs> oh, I hate seeing you like this. Oh, I don't know how this has happened. Oh. Hey, cheer up, okay? It's going to be okay. Yeah, oh, his cholesterol was awful, by the way. Yeah, it's through the roof. No, it's okay. Oh, I hate seeing you like this. He had a wonderful love life. What do you mean? He once went round to someone's house after a night out um, and just, what should I say, he just sort of went in the front door. Is that all right? Ran through it. <laughs> <laughs> not He's not that big. What, what do you mean he just went through the front just, door? Just like the door was just unlocked, he just went into uh, someone's house. I thought you meant it was like a fucking, and then like it was a too. celebration that he could even fit through the front door. <laughs> He's not fucking hell. <laughs> 
I don't know what you're imagining. Mate, he's not you that this big. Geezer right. Can't wear anything. But but three piece suits. Giacomo's a thing. Yeah. But he did love it. Do you know those big bags of cheese savory that you would like put in like a bowl at a bar? There's like a two kilo bag. Whenever, oh, this is one of your fucking tap bars. Yeah. yeah you go to a bar and there's like a the peanut. There's a peanut. Oh, there's no. a little like hey, cheese, cheese mix. Savory. It's, it's about as cheap a food as you can get. It's like two kilos for like 99 Depends pence. Cheese. No, it's not actual cheese. Two they're kilos like, for 99 pence. This like, is one of your stats. They're like biscuits. That you just pulled out of thin hair. It was from John's in Two kilos for 99p. Yeah. Google that, Ethan. He, he used to have one of them for his lunch. <laughs> no, he didn't. He used to have a kilo of kilo cheese Kilo of, of like bar snacks for, a, for a, like one quid. He used quid. to just eat bar snacks. He used like to... pistachio nuts and that. He would eat, he would have a big bag of KP peanuts and he would, yeah, he would eat bar snacks. Wasabi peas. Because he grew up in a pub. So he lived above a pub. Oh, I've only just put this together. Hold on. The no, reason, not yeah, the only, I've just realized this. The reason he will have eaten that is because he'll have grown up on, on pub snacks. He loved a, a pork scratching, loved a dry roasted, loved a cheese savory. And he used to eat oh, them. His nickname wasn't it pork scratching. No, it wasn't actually. One of our teachers one time, he on. went, um, oi, this time, like in front of everyone, it was really harsh. He went, oi, I've never really seen someone eat so many Mars bars. You better clean up after yourself this time. He'd eaten two family packs of Mars bars during the, through the, the lesson. He's all right. I think he's alive in that. Reminded me of me. Eh? No, 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 but that wasn't what reminded you, me of you. Anyway, slappers. You see what I'm dealing with? Another year of this. <laughs> Fuck me. Um, it's been a pleasure. It and we'll see you next week. Uh, we look forward to it. We've got so many stories to tell you. Joe's been to Naples. We'll catch up with him about that. We have got maybe some new features on the horizon. Yeah. I don't know why I've said that. I've not talked about it. But we've been uh, the Sloppy Joe's. And it's been, been lovely. Ethan, do you have any final words? Um, I had a step sibling who used to eat um, two full multi packs of corny yogurts in one sitting. What? You've got a step sibling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You still have the step sibling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop the yogurts now. Got the life pack and track. Nah, he's alive. Uh, there's a lot to take in it. This big guy is still alive. This has been the Sloppy Joe. It was a strange, strange episode today. It was a strange one. But it's a good we one. We got through it. Yeah. Didn't we, Ethan? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Bye. Wave, Ethan. Wave, Joe. Bye, bye. bye. See ya.